It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Firebrand Brewing Company and it's a collaboration with my good friends, Beers of Europe. And it's a can of orange and cocoa collaboration double. A limited brew, a limited batch brew, should I say, 7% ABV. Now, looking at this, they've definitely had a conversation. Of course they have, about the beer, because they've wanted to brew this collaboration together. And if you have a look at Beers of Europe's website, nice bit of smoke on the can opening, beer in the glass. Yeah, going back to it, if you have a look at Beers of Europe's website, a lot of the beers on Beers of Europe are from either Germany, or more importantly, Belgium. Now that, for me, suggests that the owners of Beers of Europe, because they're a family-run company, and I think they're a terrific company in my eyes. I've drunk lots of German and Belgian beer from these guys. It points to the fact that they must have a massive love affair for Belgian beer. Because not only do they stock hundreds and hundreds of Belgian beers on their website, they've chosen to brew a Belgian double as a collaboration beer. And I applaud that because I love Belgian, Belgian beers, Belgian doubles, triples, blondes, quads, barrel aged Belgian beers. Um, I've been to Belgium a few times, just terrific place for beer, it really is. Um, you can hear, you can hear the They've definitely used Belgium yeast in the in the beer. You can hear it his, hissing and fizzing there in the in the glass. It's got good head re retention. One finger tan coloured head. Jet black beer in the glass. And you can see all of that lovely sediment there in the bottom of the glass. Can you see that sediment? I'm going to say it's really interesting because this would will be the first time I've ever ever had a a Belgian double style beer from a can. Normally, uh, traditional Belgian brewers would put their beers in bottles. So, so it's an interesting kind of concept for me. I'm a big fan of Firebrand Brewing Company. Oh, it's a, it's a Christmas special look. Look at that, Christmas special. I'm not going to read the side of the can because I don't want to give too much away for myself. But an, an orange and cocoa. Oh, let's get the aroma. Uh, of course, you can pick this beer up from beersofeurope.co.uk. That goes without saying. Link is in the description box of the video. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, I don't do enough. <laughs> I, I, I simply... Do not do enough Belgian beer at the moment. I find it very exciting. I find it very unique. I have a massive love affair myself for Belgium and German beer. You definitely get the co cocoa. You definitely, I'm, I'm almost like dying to say cacao nibs. Maybe it is, we don't know. We haven't read the side of the can yet. You get that orange zest. And you get quite a lot of fig and plum and prune. Dark fruits in the beer. Very vinous quality to the beer. Let's dive into this 7% ABV beer then. Cheers everybody. Wow, that Belgian plum and fig and prune flavour really does come on strong. Lots of zest, orange peel, orange zesty flavours going on. It's a very carbonated beer, you can feel the carbonation pushing around the inside of the mouth. You get hints of the chocolate, the chocolate's coming through with a, a, a hint of bitterness on the back end. Mm. 
It's good. It's very, very good. It's very, very good. Very drinkable. Very refreshing. But at the same time, there's a lovely mouthfeel to the beer. They've definitely used Belgian yeast as well. You get that kind of slight estery kind of Belgium yeast flavour that naturally kind of comes with the flavour of the beer. You can hear that carbonation. I'm more than happy though with that. That very vinous it almost dominates the flavour really, a vinous plum and fig and prune and orange peel and the spiciness, sp spiciness and pepperiness comes through in abundance as well. If you're a fan of Belgian doubles, if you're a fan of flavoured beer with your, your orange and your chocolate added to the beer then I think you'd like this, I think you'd like this. I certainly do. Have a look as you rock the beer back and forth. You can see that carbonation chasing the the head of the glass. Let's have a read of the side of the side of the can then of this limited batch brew. Uh, our limited batch brews are brewed as one brew only batches of beer that allow us to be creative, explore and be inspired by the diverse world of beer and brewing. This beer, this brew is a Belgian style double with cocoa and orange peel. So the malt is pale ale wheat med cara, cara malt, and the hops are Amarillo and it contains wheat and barley. Of course it does. Um, Brewed in Cornwall by Firebrand Brewing Company. So maybe maybe the, the, the lovely people of Beers of Europe made their way down to Cornwall from one edge of the country to the other edge of the country. Maybe it made a bit of a holiday for it as well. Um, good stuff, good stuff. Now my association with Beers of Europe myself goes back many, many years. We've been with Beers of Europe now as a, as a channel sponsor. Not in terms of money. It's never been um, a monetized sponsorship. It's been much more of a friendly sponsorship where I give the guys a shout out and put a little link in the description box for their website or their beer, this particular beer. And they send me 10 beers a month. And that works lovely for me. That works absolutely fantastic for me. There was a time about six, six years ago on the channel where we were very low on funds and we were very low on beer nearly running out and it was almost like the call-in time really on the on the channel it was like we were fading out we were we were like a boxer like you know still swinging but not really swinging at much and then we caught a break we caught a break um beers have viewed up become our channel sponsor they sent us 10 beers and those 10 beers just it always reinvigorates you when somebody else gets involved and somebody else you know we have a conversation and, and they believe in you enough to say have 10 beers a month on us and give us a shout out it's it's enough to drive you on and that's exactly what happened it drove us on um we found another job which brought income in to carry on with the the, the purchase purchasing a beer on the channel we had our 10 months of beer from beers of europe and and for years for years and years it was an absolute lifeline for the channel it really i can't emphasize the importance enough of the beers that we had from beers of europe so um that's my kind of my, I mean, I had, I've had, I've had ten beers this month from Beers of Europe, and, and, pardon me, this is the first one. I've decided to go with. Because I like doubles, and because I like the guys at Firebrand and, and Beers of Europe, so we chuck this one in first. 
so well done. I'm going to rate it. And see, look at the carbonation as you rock that beer back and forth. Great stuff. I like the orange peel, the pepperiness, the spiciness, the plum, the fig, the prune flavours on the back end. Definitely a Belgium double. Well done, guys. Really lovely and flavoursome. Nice cocoa flavours as well coming through. Um, it is a one-off brew, as I've mentioned, so be quick purchasing it. You can get the link in the description box of the video to go straight to their website and purchase this beer. Yeah, I like that enough to give it a Stone the Crows. Where are we? <laughs> 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.